Git is one of the world's most popular version control tool. Hello and welcome to K21 Academy's DevOps video series. In this video, we will cover topics like version control system, Git, advantages of using Git, and Git architecture. Before we move ahead, I would like to recommend our previous video on CICD in DevOps. You can also check out our blog on the same by going on to k21academy.com slash devops18. Now let's hear from expert trainer what he has to say. So now let's go into the Git introduction. So this Git is nothing but it's a version control system and it is being used across 90% of the uh, world's IT company. Why it is, is because we will we'll see that further. But before that, we will first see what is a version control system. Why do you think version control system is actually needed? What is the use of it? Uh, mainly to store the versions or mainly to store the history of the code that's because if suppose a developer is actually writing a code and if he is saving it on his local mission and what happens if the local mission gets crashed so he would not be able to recover his code back so that is the reason we have this version control repository a repository is considered it's nothing but a database okay so this uh, version control repository is nothing but collection of all the code database so it saves as a version history and you can even recover five years ten years of old data and if you have a proper naming convention if you have a proper tagging conventions then it will be easy for you to get the codes back that is a use of it okay and uh, what are all the functions of the version control system one it allows the developers to work simultaneously two it does not allow overwriting each other changes. What do you mean by overwriting each other changes? For example, if there are two developers, developers A and developer B, consider both the developers are actually working on the same code. If I'm making a changes on line number five, and if he is also making a changes on line number five, what will, what will happen? On the general scenario, it will overwrite. But in this case of uh, Git, it will not allow you to overwrite. First, either of you have to check in and then only the other people can save it. It does not allow you to override. It does not allow you to save simultaneously. Okay. And it maintains a history of every version of the file. And there are two main <coughs> version control systems in the <coughs> DevOps system tools. What are those? One is centralized version control system. Another one is decentralized or distributed version control system. So what do you mean by centralized version control system? A centralized version control system is nothing but all the files and all the collections are stored in one main server okay and that main server is connected to the multiple clients across so if the main server connection is gone or if the main server is having any issues or problems then all the clients connection will be lost and you will not be able to save or send data to up and forth okay traditionally centralized version control systems are SVN, which is subversion, clear case, CVS, PVCS, TFSBC, which is team foundation version control system. So all these falls under this centralized version control system. To overcome that disadvantage, we came up with a distributed version control system, which means it also has a master and client concept or a server and the client concept. But in this case, what happens? The even if the server goes down the one of the client is actually acting as a server and it does not leave you the connection back so the server is again coming back to the normal and then your inflow and outflow of data will not be lost okay so that is the advantage of distributed version control system and what are all the uh, examples of distributed version control system obviously we have git github bitbucket mercurial and there are a lot of other tools okay so this is a distributed version control system and what are all the advantages of Git? It is free first. Next, it is open source. Next, it is fast. Fast in the sense like it is very easy to use, like it does not lag anywhere. It is very fast to use. And then it is very small, small in the size. The size of this is less than uh, 100 MB. So it is very easy to use and small. And uh, it has an implicit backup, which means there are a lot of by default backup copies are available. So if you're if you're losing any data, also it is very easy to recover back. And by default, it uses SHA one algorithm, which is a yeah, security uh, hashing algorithm for making sure like no one is actually reading your code and all your commits are actually being uh, protected by this kit. 
and then easy branching is available which means uh, multiple developers can work together at the same time so branching concepts are also very easy and you don't need a powerful hardware machine to use that because the size and the fast of the git allow you it allows you to work on multiple machines like mac or windows or linux or any other machines okay so these are all the advantages of git and this is the distributed version control systems workflow so generally there are three layers in it first is your working directory which means your local machine then comes your staging area which is your intermediate saving area and then comes your git repository which is your server so the working mission or a working directory is where your files are being present and once if you save that or once if you commit it it goes to the intermediate layer called a staging area and once after you push it then from the staging area it goes back to the repository server so this is a three layer architecture of the git workflow so that was our DevOps expert talking about version control system. You can also check out our blog on Git by visiting k21academy.com slash DevOps19. Git is part of our DevOps foundation training program where we cover all these topics in detail. If you're not yet DevOps certified and would like to see what to expect in the exam or how to prepare for it, I would like to invite you for a free 90 minute session with DevOps Institute as well as Microsoft certified DevOps expert trainer. We'll talk about DevOps Foundation course. Additionally, we'll show live demo of website deployment on Docker using Jenkins CI CD. We'll also talk about DevOps tools. We'll share information about the certification exam. So you can register for free by going on to this URL, k21academy.com slash DevOps02. In our next video, we'll be looking at Jenkins. It is one of the most popular CI tools. We'll cover its features, its various concepts. So I'll see you next week. Please click on the subscribe button if you haven't done that already and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on our upcoming video.